starship will not fit. We'll fit, Captain. We will not fit. We'll fit. The starship Enterprise is under attack, and the dashing but reckless Captain Kirk is determined to save his crew. Fuck, we're talking about your life! In this Star Trek sequel, the enemy is one of their own. Now, you play the nastiest villain in the film, if not the whole of the intergalactic universe. He's human, but he's sort of superhuman in many ways. No. Shall we begin? Benedict Cumberbatch is most famous for playing Sherlock Holmes in the British TV series, but his detective skills failed him while making the movie. Captain on the bridge! The cast played a trick on him, saying the high-tech set was radioactive and he had to take life-saving precautions. You had to wear this thing called neutron cream, which is basically sunscreen dotted all over your face and you had to jump up and down every five minutes. He fell for it, but eventually got the joke. The amount of collusion, the level of it was scary, really scary, to the point that the burliest man on set was sort of doing the shakedown and getting rid of the bad stuff. Zachary Quinto's performance and makeup as Spock steals the show. Ears burning? Talk me through the ears. Talk you through them? Yes. Do you uh, have like a room in your house full of ears? I have the ear room. Uh, actually, I just lay them all on the floor and I just go in there and roll around on them. Um, they're so soft. Quinto says he hopes Star Trek Into Darkness is as fun to watch as it was to make. Lucy McDonald for CBS News, London.